to return is to secure the area east of the Euphrates to the Iraqi border, including Manbij. All right, well, Baba Hamamian, an international relations expert, joins me now here in the studio uh, in London. Baba, what are you making of all of this, the international response, the reaction to uh, Turkey's operation in northern Syria? Well, this we should consider as a humanitarian project than any other things. The, some countries want to portray it as a military uh, operation, but this is really a humanitarian project. First of all, every country has the right to have a secure border. There is also the, another issue here, is that three and a half million refugees, Syrian refugees in Turkey, this gives them a purpose to go back to their own country and rebuild their own country. Otherwise, these people cannot live there forever. Sure. I mean, I think Turkey was saying it's housing uh, at a cost of something like $40 billion, these three and a half million refugees in Turkey. But how would a resettlement, what would it look like? Well, it has to be with the cooperation with the local people. Also, UN has to get involved with it. And also the rich countries of the world. And also the countries who were party to the destruction of these people's homes, like Iran, Syria, Russia. These countries were involved in the destruction of these people's homes. Turkey wasn't. So they have also to start contributing to the efforts of relocating these people and rebuilding uh, some sort of a habitant in these safe zone for them. And eventually maybe take uh, life back to normality. But aren't there too many players now in Syria? We, I mean, Iran and I mean, Russia now, Turkey, the US has just pulled out. Is this not inflaming the situation further? Isn't this hindering some sort of a peaceful solution? Well, all the, first of all, countries who do not have a shared border with, uh, with Syria, they, they're not affected directly. So this affects Turkey directly. The other countries are thinking for their own benefits, like Iran wants a corridor to Mediterranean. Uh, uh, China wants to have chaos, so we could, if one day they want to have a direct access to Mediterranean, they could have it. The only country could stand in the way of China would be Turkey as a NATO member. Uh, Russia wants to have its own base there. And also we have to look at the bigger picture. The energy market in the world is changing, especially the supply side of it. And Russia is going to bypass Ukraine and use Turkey for, to supply energy to Europe. So you, we need a secure Turkey. Its border has to be secure for the sake of energy supply from Russia to Europe. OK, well, I mean, Turkey is sort of saying that it is uh, going to um, ensure the uh, regional integrity of, uh, of, of, this, of, of Syria, of the northeastern section and, and of this corridor. How concerned are you, though, for the, for the civilians there, either from the, the Turkish um, attacks or from possible YPG retaliation? Well, look at the excuses the Kurdish people are giving. They are saying by having these people move to this region would change the demographic of it because these people are not locals. They are Syrians, but they are not locals, so the ethnicity of the region would change. And also, they don't want a new uh, mixture. of So they, 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 they want to play to a longer independent uh, Kurdistan or uh, Kurdish uh, country, which then it brings on Iran. Iran has its own Kurdish problems. Uh, Iraq has its own Kurdish problems. And also, we, we get the... Uh, Turkey, which has its own Kurdish problem. So this is, a, is an issue for all countries concerned. So an international responsibility. Babiak Emian, thank you very much for joining us here in the studio. Well, we've also been hearing that the ground operation has now started after the earlier air operation. Let's get more from our correspondent, Shamim Chowdhury, who is on uh, the Turkish-Syrian border. Shamim, what are you hearing where you are?